This video is in response to this video by Hack5. I love Hack5. You guys do a great job with all you do. Uh, but sometimes you guys go about things in ways I don't understand why you're doing them the way you're doing them. Now, in this video, you guys talk about getting MAME set up on Linux. And let's just watch this little clip here real quick. The vanilla MAME distribution, that only comes in source form, which means that you are going to need to do all the compiling and all the dependency fetching yourself which is my favorite thing to do in the entire world. Okay, so first off, you're just perpetuating the myth that on um, Linux you have to be able to compile stuff and the dependencies are an issue and that sort of thing, which is not true. They go on in the video saying to go to this website, uh, SDL MAME for Ubuntu, uh, SDL MAME dot weekly dot org forward slash downloads, whatever, and then find the proper package for your distribution, download that. Don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. I don't know why they said to do this, because um, MAME should be in your repositories, at least for most distributions. I'm running Debian SID. MAME is in there. Uh, I don't run Ubuntu, but doing a Google search, it seems like the MAME package is inside the Ubuntu repositories. So going to a website run by people I don't know that isn't encrypted. So I have a rule. If you watch my videos, I've mentioned all the time, when it comes to software, only use software that you trust, you get from a place you trust, and in a way you trust. Well, I don't know who these people are, and I don't, and it's not encrypted, so I don't even know if I'm actually getting it from them in a secure manner. So, so no, I, I, I'm not saying that this is bad, but even if it's okay to use the packages on this website, that's the more difficult way of doing it. This is like, like if you're running Windows, that's how you install software. You go to a website you don't know, download software, and run it, which is much harder than the Linux way of doing things, which is if you're on a Debian-based distribution, uh, is using apt or aptitude or apt-get. So let's just go to the shell here, and you can use a GUI package manager, but that's just extra steps. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say sudo apt-get install main, and that's it. Now, I already have it installed, but... If I didn't, it would download it and install it. It would take care of all the libraries for me. And this installs MAME and I think MAME-data. There's two other packages, uh, MAME uh, tools and MAME extras, which are also in the repositories, which I haven't installed. Um, but you could doing using the same method. But if you didn't have it installed, it would download it and it would take probably 10 to 20 seconds for it to download and install all the repositories or all the libraries and you're set. Then all you need to do is download the ROMs and any files required for those ROMs, and then you just run the main command. Now, you can go into the config file, and there's certain folders that you can put your ROMs in, and if so, you can just run main and see all your ROMs. Uh, I just threw my this ROM I have into a temporary folder here, so now all I have to do is say ROM and the name, or I'm sorry, main and the name of the file. No, now if I run this, it is going to give me an error here. Let's go ahead and run this. There you go. It's telling me missing files because I didn't put my ROM inside my default ROM folder. If that's the case, if this is the way you're going to do it, just say dash ROM path dot slash or whatever ROM path. I'm doing dot slash, which means my current directory because that's where all my ROMs are. And I'm going to hit enter. And at that point, everything ups and runs. I can go ahead and enter. Yeah, this is a little loading thing here, and then the ROM starts, and I can start putting in coins with six on my keyboard. And then I can hit one to start, or two for two player. And that is it. Uh, no need to go to third party websites, download packages, manually install them, find all the libraries for them, do all this with through an unsecure, unencrypted connection to the website. Exit out of that. Um, Again, one command to install it on, whoops, right there on pretty much any Debian-based distribution, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Debian, stuff like that. It should be in the repositories. Um, and then after it's installed, just run it uh, and make sure you give tell where what path your ROMs are in. That's it. Uh, so again, uh, Darren, Sharon, uh, Shannon, I love your videos. Thank you for doing them. But you guys know 
<laughs> how to use apt-get. So I don't know why you didn't do this in this video. Um, I watched the video, I was waiting for you guys to say maybe there was a reason, maybe there was some reason you wanted to use the version from the website, maybe it was newer and there was some functionality into it, but you never said anything like that. So I'm assuming that for some reason you just didn't check the repositories, and 99.99% .99 of the time, everything you need is in your repositories if you have a decent distribution. If you go outside of, uh, of the repositories, you're just asking for trouble, you're asking for dependency issues, and a chance at malicious software uh, being installed on your machine. So, thanks for watching. Uh, my website is filmsbychris.com. That's Chris Decay. There should be a link in the description. If you enjoy videos on Linux, I have plenty there. So, go ahead and check it out. I thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day.